noted by the, the judges. If there is poor technique and execution. And there's lapses in control, in the balance, wobbling or stumbling. It's all coming under fire by the judges. They deduct marks. Just in case you're wondering what's going on at the moment, uh, we're trying to combine a few things in the swimming pool and also in gymnastics here. And Lim Himwe is just waiting for her chance to come to the beam, the balance beam. She's had a mixed, mixed fortunes, obviously contributed hugely to the team gold. which the Singapore girls retained, of course, from Manila in 2005. But um, she's had mixed fortunes in the other events. Just taking a final words of advice here, just waiting for the bell to get underway with her performance. Just in case you missed it, Nicole Tay came in with a 13.175 which is a little bit disappointing for her she fell off the beam at 13.85 she was hoping to get yet another gold that was her performance um, in the uh, individual all round for this discipline she didn't manage it anxious moments here for the Singapore girl Lim Himwe just waiting for the chance to get moving and here we go here we go there's the bell that's what she's been waiting for now the big smile but can she now deliver it's a big big pressure time here 13.175 was Nichols performance and that is an interesting mount for Lim Himwe now precision stuff starts off well with the two good jumps there will be some acrobatics oh solid plant there on the backward somersault too don't forget this is 10 centimeters wide four inches 125 that's a great performance there wow continuing putting in a great beam lim him way of singapore and another great plant there with a backward somersault. The crowd liking this. I think she's got to beat. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so difficult. That's a point eight deducted immediately. And that will definitely ruin her chances of the gold. A really, really good performance by Vietnam's Do Thi Ngang Thuong. But it was equaled there by Lim Hiem Wei until she fell. Oh, it is so difficult. The legs start wobbling a little bit once you realize that you've really disappointed. But again, another good forward somersault. She will score in the 13s, I think. There's the bell for the dismount. A big plant here. Oh, and a little bit off to the side and should be deducted points there but a brave effort Lim Hiem Wei spent at least 45 seconds there in a really really good position but ultimately couldn't manage it and sympathy and cuddles there all round from the Singapore team disappointment for Singapore but I'm sure it'll be celebration for Vietnam well, we've had some great moments for Singapore gymnastics with the women's team, particularly during these last four or five days of competition here in Thailand. We're not going to finish off with a big medal here, I don't think. And again, just a little bit nervy at the end. Good effort, but I'm afraid it won't be good enough. Still chance of a medal. Not sure where we're going to get the score at the moment. You're not missing anything in the pool. They're still really working so hard to get through those 1,500 metres. It's a big, big race over at the Aquatic Centre. Big smile there. Good to see Lim Hiem Wei. And 
there is uh, the tie score of 12.9 so still Singapore in with a chance of a medal but uh, there's no doubt at all that Doti Nyang Tong her performance of 14.975 will be good enough for the gold medal it was an excellent performance faultless and uh, I believe that Malaysia's Chan Sawa there it is that is the final confirmation of the score then Nicole Tay pushed out of the medals there 13.175 she fell off if she hadn't done that she would have been up to 13.9 as it stands that Vietnam's uh, Do Thi Ngang Tong takes the gold medal Chan Sawa of Malaysia takes the bronze uh, the silver and Dewi Prahara of Indonesia takes the bronze in this the beam of the women's apparatus final let's take a break and after that we'll be going back to mark richmond at the swimming pool